Hey you guys, welcome back to another day with 56 Glitter. Uh, today I am going to do the animology quiz from the famous TV show, Kim Possible. Uh, <laughs> I've done this quiz before and I know what I've gotten in the past, but it has been a while, so who knows, my answer may have changed. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember all the questions we're going to see. I don't think this is the right one though. Um, let's see, I think it's the other one. Let's see. Ba ba da ba, animology test. Question. Okay, this is the one I've done. So we'll see if my answers have changed. And we'll see if I'm still the same as I was before. Uh, <laughs> I am a huge fan of Kim Possible, so I had to try it. I had to do this, so I'll put you guys over there so you guys can see. So, question one. Would you classify yourself as someone who's involved in sports? Well, I'm not currently, but I... Well, see, I'm a swing dancer, so... Yeah, I, I would. I would honestly classify myself as a swing dancer, but I also played soccer for 11 years, so... Um, yeah, we'll go with yes. So go to question two. Would you classify yourself as a, a nerd or loser or a B, a bully or C, an average guy slash girl? I mean, I can be pretty geeky over things and nerdy. Um, but I'm going to have to say, I, I, I don't want to say average, question mark. Question five, a movie you wanted to see close down what will you do go home go see a different movie or go do something else oh uh, um if i went to go see the movie in the first place i feel like it'd be a waste to not see anything um and so i'd probably go see a different movie so i'm still going what i initially planned to do uh, go to question six. A mysterious hood stranger arrives at your house. You mo are most likely to A, greet him slash her. B, hide and make them think you're not home. C, call the cops. Or D, yell through the door. I've got a gun. Um. Oh, let's see. I really, I don't know if I greet him or her. I think, I don't want to say I hide either. But I definitely wouldn't call the cops or yell through the door. <laughs> that seems a little excessive. Um, I would probably go with B just because uh, if I don't know who it is and I wasn't expecting anyone, that can be a little suspicious. It's a fifth. Uh, let's go to question nine. You buy ice cream and a kid comes up to you and tells you he's really hungry and hasn't eaten in days. Your reaction will be to stick the ice cream in his face and run away, to ignore him and eat your ice cream, to give him your ice cream, or you think he is lying. Um, well, see... Hmm. I would not stick the ice cream in his face and run away. That's not my kind of way of handling things. Um, I don't think I'd believe him, but I'm too nice not to give him my ice cream. Uh, I don't think he... I mean, I know I said I think he's lying, but... I wish it's the answer for D, but like I said, I think I still give it to him. So, question 11. You're going to take a quiz, like in the, or like the ones in school. Your score is most likely to be perfect. Uh, enough to pass a failing mark. I don't actually care anyways, or I don't know. I'm a perfectionist with my scores. All my teachers can tell you that from my college 
uh, or the, the colleges I've attended, I have uh, aced all my classes. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I love getting all A's. I mean, I might have like a, uh, like one answer wrong, maybe two every one once in a while, but I really like my answers being top notch. Um, all A's. So, mm, I'm gonna go with perfect. I go to profile B. Profile B. According to, uh, Kim Possible show, or the Kim Possible show, the blue fox is the best you can get. Oh, what do you know? I'm a blue fox. That is what I got last time. I just couldn't remember what my answers were before. I could have sworn I had some different questions before. But it says, you are a born leader. You cannot resist a challenge. You are driven to excel and a perfectionist. My soulmate is the yellow trout. Um, I am in conflict with the indigo beaver. So, <laughs> uh, if you guys take this test, I am really curious to see what you guys get. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be fun. I've been rewatching the show because I'm a huge fan of the cast um, and the show itself, but, um, I love the actor who plays Brick, uh, he also plays my favorite, oh, in my favorite TV show, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, he plays my favorite character, Tom, so, uh, he also plays in Boy Meets World as Sean, and again in Girl Meets World, um, and then... The actor who plays Ron Stoppable is also the actor who plays in Boy Meets World as, uh, man, I'm blinking. I just watched this show. Eric. He played Eric. Um, and, uh, I also recently saw him in another film he played in, uh, forever ago, uh, it was kind of like Cinderella in reverse, but like it was with a president's daughter or like a mayor's daughter. But I love that actor too. Uh, there's a lot of cast I didn't realize was in Kim Possible. That was in a lot of other Disney shows I watched. And I was just like, whoa. Or movies that I'd seen. Uh, like, I didn't know Ashley Tisdale was in it. I knew that what's her name who plays or uh raven raven what's it called you know what it doesn't matter but i i knew she played monique um i knew the lady from the even stevens played kim uh i didn't watch that one though so i wouldn't really know no but i knew she was in it um there's just a lot I was shocked. Anyway, but I just rewatched the episode where they take the quiz, and so I wanted to give it a shot and see. So this is my results. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please click like or subscribe, and I hope I catch you guys in the next vid. Uh, 56 glitter over and out.